Hey there, and welcome to the Wix website tutorial for beginners. This is the second video in a five part series where I walk you through my process of building out a website in the new Wix Editor X Builder. In this second video, we're going to be transferring over my wireframe sketch to the builder. The process just consists of dragging and dropping elements from the ad panel to the canvas populating it with copy from our content doc, and then reviewing the structure of the content to make sure that everything flows from section to section and complements the content prior to and after it. All right, so the first thing that we're going to want to do is go into our site themes right here and add our fonts for our headings and paragraph text. As you can see here, I've already customized my presets and you can do that by clicking on this pencil icon editing theme clicking into this drop down selecting your font choice you can also upload fonts and selecting the size for that specific heading or paragraph text apply the theme and you move on to the next you can see here that i have 48 pixels for my heading 1 36 24 18 16 10 and then I begin in my paragraph text 16 14 and 12 feel free to copy these right here uh, you can pause the video if you're following along or you can screenshot this for after next up we're going to transfer our wireframe onto the builders canvas and lay out our content section by section from top to bottom so I'm going to go ahead and click on this section right here go to the action bar apply grid select a two column by one row grid and the reason I'm doing this is because I have content in my wireframe on this side and this side of the section. So I'm going to the add elements panel. I'm going to go to text, add a title. And you'll see here that our title has not updated for some reason. Again, this is in beta. This could be an error. Um, but I'm going to go to edit text and you see this asterisk mark right here. That means that this is this text is different from your site theme presets. So I'm going to go down here and reset changes. And now it adds my title in just fine. So I got my title in. Let me go here. I'm going to go again to theme text, drag in some paragraph copy. Just move that down a little bit. And I'm going to grab two buttons, one and two. All right, next I'm going to go ahead and add in my form. So we're gonna go over here to contact and forms, add a form. We're gonna choose the contacts template and it says here, collect info and get to know your visitors. So that's what we want, choose template. Bring that over here. We don't have to worry about styling too much. We're just laying out the elements as I mentioned before. So now I'm going to go ahead and open up my content doc right here and grab the copy for each section or element in each section. And add that like that. I'm gonna grab these two buttons, bring them down a little bit. Again, we're not really designing uh, in this video. We're just laying out the elements. So, uh, all right. So we have the content there. Here we need to change this from a contact us to see download creative brief template. Okay. And. We're going to go click here, paste that in there. All right. So I know we just had the first name an email field and a submit button. We can do that afterwards. All right. So now we have our first section done. You're going to want to save every so often. I mean, as often as you can here, you're going to have a pop up. You can edit this URL right here. Uh, this is just a temporary URL until you connect your domain. I'm going to check don't show this again because it's slowing down uh, the workflow. I'm going to leave this URL 
as is, click done and double check it, save, got a little check mark, we're good to go. So now I'm gonna go ahead and add another section. This section is going to be my title section and I'm going to go ahead and add text and H2. Again, it hasn't updated and you can see that with this asterisk mark. It's a heading two. And I'm going to just put that in here. Add another section. And I'm gonna apply the grid here. We're gonna use the grid again. We're gonna do a three by one. And that's three columns in one row. I'm also going to adjust this grid and add a 20 pixel gutter. You'll see that popped up right there. That's just in case content were to uh, come to the edge and also come to this edge and collide into each other. It's just a nice little spacing there. I'm going to go to the add panel. We're going to go into media and just grab an image for placeholder resize this like this and I think that's good back to the add panel we're gonna bring in h3 so h1 h2 h3 it doesn't say it there um, but you can kind of get the idea here I'm gonna edit text h3 and I'm going to make the same width as this image right now. Add panel text. I'm going to go ahead and add in this text. And you can see that that didn't load. It looks like we have a little glitch here. I'm going to go ahead and save out my progress. And then I'm going to hold Command R and hit refresh or Control R on a PC. This page is going to refresh text is still not there. I'm going to select this section, hit the add panel again, go to text and add in this paragraph text and it pops up. So again, this is in beta as we can see right here. There is going to be some bugginess glitches uh, and that's with a lot of tools that you use out there. And now we have our section or our first um, subsection of this section set up. I'm going to go ahead and hold down shift after I have one selected so text hold down shift select this title select the image and then I'm gonna stack them and now I can grab the stack you can see these breadcrumbs right here if I select the title it goes text stack is the next level and then section is the most outer level so I'm gonna grab the stack and now I can just drag this around I can move it into here into here so I'm going to leave it right here. I'm going to go ahead and copy this. Command C, select section, paste. So for the sake of time, I'm going to go ahead and speed the video up here, but there is nothing new happening. I'm just duplicating the content stack, which is the image, title, and paragraph text, and pasting it into the other two columns. Then I'm going to copy the text from my content doc over to my canvas and populate these new text fields. All right, so we have our three subsections of this section and we're done here. I'm gonna click save, get that check mark and move on. I'm gonna hit the plus sign to get another section going. And in this section, I'm going to put in a down arrow and this is just gonna have, uh, gonna be a prompt to Tell the visitor to continue scrolling. Bring that right in here. All right, and I'm going to rotate that. Oop, 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 right there. All right, and that's gonna be right there. That's fine. Now we're gonna add another section. Hitting this right here. And we're going to go to the add panel. And now we're gonna go into our layout tools and there is, I'm gonna try to find a pre-built out section that exists. You know what, let's just go to sections 
and find this pre-built out section. I believe what would work best for this section. Let's see, uh, no. This looks good actually right here. I'm gonna go ahead and throw this in. That's perfect right there. And we could actually, I like this layered effect right here. So we're gonna go here, edit text. This is gonna be an H2. And this we don't need. So we're gonna get rid of that. We do need a button in this section. So we're gonna go to button. Just click on that. That didn't work. Let's try that again. Click on that. We're gonna hit save. Ran into another bug again. That's fine. Let's hit refresh. Scroll down. Let's select this, this section again. Add panel, button. All right. And we have a button in there. I'm gonna go here and I'm going to want to go to the stack. I'm gonna unstack this. Then I'm going to select the button, the text, and this heading, and select stack. So now we have this section complete. Instead of creating a new section here, I'm gonna go ahead and select this section. Go to these three dots, the more actions menu, and duplicate. You can do this with Command D also. I have this duplicated. Now I'm just gonna simply swap over these two sections. So this image is just in this section, it's not in a stack, and so is this one. I'm gonna hold Shift and select them both. Move this over. Then I'm gonna select this, go to the stack, grab this guy right here, and move it over. Okay. So I think that this looks like it was somewhat centered in here. So I'm just gonna move this over here. I'm gonna close this a little bit and bring this like this. All right, so we have that set up and now I'm gonna duplicate this section again. Duplicate. And I'm gonna go to our layers panel and grab this new section that we duplicated. You can see that I'm in that section because it's highlighted and highlighted here and move it below. Oh, one section too many right there. So now that I've finished adding the last subsection in this overall section, I'm going to once again speed the video up here for the sake of time as I transfer text from my content doc to the builder's canvas and populate each one of these text fields. So for our final section, which is right here, we're going to add the CTA. This is just a background image with centered text here. So I'm gonna go ahead and see if we have a section that looks similar to what we have here. And I'm gonna say it's under banners because this is usually the CTAs. So banner, banner, oh, that looks good right there actually. Perfect. So once again, for the sake of time, I'm speeding up the video here. I'm just adding in the copy from our content doc into the builder's canvas and populating each section. And now we have our footer. So for here, according to our wireframe, just want to add some social links, A little social bar here and boom. All right, next up, we're going to add our one page navigation. We're gonna go ahead and go back to edit site. Now, before we add a navigation up here, we're going to click on each section and add anchors. An anchor tag or anchor link is a web page element that links to another location on the same page. So here, we'll call this the hero. Click on this section, add an anchor. Section two, this section here, 
section three. And we're not gonna add them for here because I consider this all one section. And finally add an anchor for my CTA. I'm gonna go ahead and hit save up here. Got the check mark, we're good. I'm gonna go select my master head, hit the plus sign, menu, horizontal menus, and I'm gonna add this menu right here. So you'll see that this menu, um, I'm gonna line it up right here, does not have any links yet. You're gonna select it, go to the action bar, manage menu. We're gonna go ahead and add uh, links, anchor links. What page is this anchor on? This page, the home page. And this next link is gonna be hero, done. We're gonna call it home, enter. We're gonna add another link. Once again, for the sake of time, I'm gonna go ahead and speed up this clip. All I'm doing here is just adding all of my anchor links to my main navigation. And now we're gonna test it. Preview, oops, we're gonna edit this site. Looks like we made an error, manage menu, and we forgot to remove this guy. So remove from menu right there. And we're gonna save now. Now we're gonna to wanna to make this navigation sticky. So we're gonna select it, scroll over a little bit. And we're going to want to select scroll, scroll effect, drop down, sticky. Save that, preview again. And now we have it scrolling with us. We're gonna to want to change this background color. So go to change design, or you could just hit this paintbrush tool, bring it all the way up to 100% opacity, save that, preview, and now we have this overlaying our content. Finally, we're going to review our page's content and flow. At the top here, I wanna list some quick benefits or reasons why to continue scrolling or take action and head over to my YouTube channel. I also have a form fill here where I can provide a free resource in exchange for a visitor's email, which will allow me to test out what my target audience is interested in so that I can better meet their needs. If they continue to scroll, I dive a little deeper with a description as well as an image of the type of content they can expect from me, followed by a signal to scroll. Once they continue to scroll, I have three unique CTAs where I ask the visitor to take action depending on which of the three sections buttons they click on can help me determine what they're interested in learning more about. At the end, I have my final section with two CTAs, one asking them to subscribe, which is the ultimate goal, or to watch my latest video. And finally, I have social share so that they can connect with me on other platforms that they might be using. If you found this video helpful, please let me know in the comments below hit the like button, smash that subscribe button, and be sure to ding that notification bell to find out when I release my next video. In the next video, we're going to be designing our page and making sure everything is responsive. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.